Hi everybody, it's Sally from Sally Stampers. Thank you for joining me today. Today I'm bringing you this simple treat pouch. Um, again, I know there's lots out there, um, but I just think sometimes it's nice to remake a project using current products and see how different they look and how how different you can decorate them, I guess. Because um, obviously we can all make, well, most of us could make a box, but how you decorate it can make a world of difference. So these little um, pouches just have a single pack of these inside. Some little Haribo um, sweets. As you can see, I have three here and obviously my fourth one. Perfect for my family. So they will all be getting a little treat later on. Um, but as you can see, I've just added um, a really simple sentiment and then these little hearts um, using champagne foil and then the um, coordinating cardstock just for another one. Um, and they are really simple to make. You can make them for wedding favours, party favours. Uh, you could fill them with pretty much anything really because they are really quite a good size, as you will see. So I'm going to pop them to one side and show you how we make these super, super simple pouches. So, to start off with, you need a sheet of DSP that is six by six. Again, if you're using a standard six by six pack, you could make 48 of these. So that is an amazing amount of treats. If not, bearing in mind our 12 by 12 sheets can be put cut um, into quarters, so you would get four out of a sheet. I haven't done the maths because <laughs> I just haven't but again you'd still probably get quite a lot from them if you have a pattern that you want to make sure it goes a certain way then you'll need to pay attention to which way you do this this is the side I want showing so on the opposite side I want to pop my some tear and tape really simple I'm going to pop it all the way along that edge all the way along this edge and I am going as close to the edge as I can and then down the third side in between the tear and tape it's there's no need to overlap it because then you wouldn't get the backing off <laughs> so I'm just going up to the tear and tape that's already there. Now I'm just going to get my, <clears throat> excuse me, my bone folder because I just want to make sure that's really well stuck. I'm just running over all of the tear and tape. Okay, once you've done that, you take the middle piece off, and this is a little bit fiddly you need to roll it so that you're making a tube but obviously it's quite hard because the card the paper wants to roll against you and you've got to try and stick it if you can try and get an equal distance I mean I just sort of try and go with the thickness of the tear and tape if I'm honest and then once you've got it I kind of push that middle bit away because I don't want the tear and tape to catch in the wrong place and my fingers just just meet so I have just enough space to get in there and press that down give it a real good press okay this is why I mentioned about the direction of your paper because you're going to have this closing that way and that one closing that way so if you want your paper to run a particular way this is the way it will need to look. We're then going to take the backing off one end and it will just roll all the way round and then with your seam at the centre back just there we're going to fold this over. doesn't matter if you get a very small overlap you can always trim it although that will potentially be at the back so you won't see it anyway. I'm going to pop that down and again just with my bone folder I'm just pressing that adhesive down getting it to work. Okay 
So now you can see how big that tube is. It really is a good size. I'm going to pop my sweets in and again as you can see you could potentially get maybe two packs in there and then we're going to take the backing off this piece and obviously this one now needs to go the opposite way so make sure that you've got that bit of tear and tape stuck and then just line that up and again fold it over let me get my bone folder just to press that down and then what I usually do is I just grab a couple of clips just to reinforce it and hold it in place but that is your pouch there's your seam so for my decoration I'm again going back with the Parisian Beauty and I'm just going with a more and I'm just going to grab that stamp have my coordinating pool party ink and some whisper white just simply stamp that bit and then I've got my classic label punch just to pop this out and I am I'll use a post-it note. In fact, I'll go that side, I think. And I have just popped this in the centre. There we go. So that's that one done. And a tiny bit of post-it note stuck <laughs> on the back. I'll just get rid of that. Okay, then I need some mini dimensionals because these fit just perfectly on the back. That's my little Bailey barking again, surprisingly. <laughs> so that's that bit done. And I am simply going to put this on my pouch already. So it's just going to go about there and then I've actually used my dog builder punch for the heart because I didn't have a separate punch that had a heart. I have a tiny scrap bit of pool party that I used before. So there's my heart and then I have some of the champagne foil again it's just a scrap piece but it's more than ample to do my hearts. There we go. And on my champagne hearts, my blue one is going on with a glue dot. Which is just going to sit on the edge of the sentiment. And then my two <clears throat> foil hearts I'm actually going to use a mini glue dot but I'm holding the foil heart down with my piercing tool because otherwise when I try and do it it's going to move and stick so I just hold the corner down so I can pop my dimensional in the correct place so this one is going to be tucked just so the heart goes underneath the blue in between the blue and the white and then sitting there and the bottom one will overlap just slightly just there and I can take my clips off and there we have them my really simple treat pouches perfect for a treat for anyone of any age I think hope you like them hope it's given you some inspiration and I hope you're having a good day speak to you all soon bye